Hey everybody, Simone Melissa's from Access Consciousness and Joy of Business, and I'm here with Caroline. Hello, it's Caroline. I'm so happy to be able to interview Simone Melissa's. And what I would love to ask you is, how do you know to control and when do you know to let go of control? Because I know me and a lot of people I know, we love to control all things and we keep everything like stuck. And when did you find out that let going of control is more helpful? Well, I think the first thing you need to do is acknowledge that you love to control. So I would say everyone watching this, hands up who's a control freak of magnitude and everybody should put their hand up pretty much. <laughs> and the thing is, it's, if you start to acknowledge that you like to control, then, then you can get, you get to choose it. There was a very long time ago, um, God, 18 years ago now, I think, I was in a class with Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness. And I was up the back of the room and you know, there's a whole class there. And he mentioned something about me being a control freak. And I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, I can't believe he said that in front of everyone. Everybody's gonna know. And then I stood there and went, huh, what part of this is not really obvious anyway, that I'm a control freak. And then from that day is when I started to look at this and look at when I was controlling so that I was stopping things because they weren't showing up the way that I had decided they should, which is what most people do. And the, the desire and the willingness to let things go. Like we, we nickname it um, the green light with a lot of the people that I work with. It's like, you know what, you've got the green light. Because the thing is, if you work with a bunch of people and someone comes up with an idea or they're going to work on a project or you know, whatever that is, no one's going to do it the same as you, ever. No one's ever going to do it the same as you. So you can either control it and you can get them to do it the same as you, which would be micromanaging and takes up a lot of your time. It also annoys everybody else that you work with. Or what we say is you've got the green light, go for it. Because the thing is choice creates awareness. So choice creates awareness. This person might choose something, might not work out, but you know what? They're going to have that awareness. If you told them what they should do, then the only thing that they ever have is that you told them what they should do. If they choose something and it doesn't work out, it doesn't you know, make more money, it doesn't expand the business, whatever that is, they will have that awareness forever. That is theirs. So what I would suggest is that you take yourself out of control and actually allow the people that you work with to choose what it is that they desire to choose and then see what shows up. So it's sort of like this energy of instilling chaos into the business. Now, there's a great process that is I run all the time is what would happen if you were out of control, out of definition, out of form, structure, significance, out of linearities, out of concentricities and out of limitations with your life, your reality, your business, your money, you can add anything on there at the end. And everything at that is times a godzillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And you can also, another one is what energy space consciousness and choice can you be that would allow you to be the control freak that you truly be. And everything at that is times a godzillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. So there's the place where you do this control that is about micromanaging and it's about the limiting what can show up. Because if you control everything and everyone, it's like, how much bigger can your business get or your idea get? And it's like, not very big at all. Now there's the difference of when you, you might be, I mean, whatever it is, you know, you're working on projects or business, etc. And there's the difference of when you see something sort of not going, uh, not going the way that could expand something. And then you can come in it's like, and you can manipulate the situation. So it starts to move in a different direction. Now you can do this by many different ways. And one of them is also just empowering someone to make a different choice, like asking them questions. Okay. So if you make this choice here, where do you see the business being in five years time or five days time or five months time or whatever you're asking them? It's like, okay, so do you get, that's like actually going to create something greater. So you're asking them a question so that they can have the awareness of what else is possible. So changing, changing up how the business looks is not about coming in and going, right, that's it. You know, it's like, let's change everything. But there's a level of manipulation that you can be with the people that you work with that guides them into a different direction. And you cannot be vested in the outcome. 
okay? It's like then even when you do this or you be this, you've got to be willing for anything to show up in any way. Yeah. And that's the, to me, that's the adventure of living and the adventure of business as well. It's like I said before, it's like no day shows up the way you think it's going to show up. So what if your business was the same? What if your money flows were exactly the same as well? Because you controlling something and you hold on to it so tight, it's like then nothing else can show up. Whereas if you're willing to let go, then you allow something different to show up. Yeah. It's like same also with family or with your friends or with relations, with everything. It's, yeah. Is, is it even with yourself? Like, like you're controlling yourself? I was thinking when you were talking yeah, about Yeah, absolutely. I mean, how many times do you control how your day is? You control, you know, even from you know, what you do with your body or, you know, your exercise or what you eat or your money or, you know, you go to, like someone said to me the other day, oh, they just bought this um, Gucci wallet and they said, oh, but I can't afford it. And then they said, oh, but that's clinging on to a point of view, isn't it? It's like, yeah. And it's like they needed a new wallet. They bought one, but already had the point of view they couldn't afford it, but also realized that that's, that's holding on to a point of view. If you let go of that point of view, then something different can show up. So how many areas are you, are you holding yourself back because you've decided you must control what you do be, have, create and generate rather than what I mentioned before, it's like instilling chaos and allowing something different to show up. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? You stumble and fall. You're going to pick yourself up again and move on. So how many limitations have you already created about you and your business? and your money flows and your currency flows and how big your business can be or how little your business can be and everything at that is times a Godzilla and we destroy and uncreate it. Yeah. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pot all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. So let me run that one more process again about the out of control. Okay. Yeah. So what would happen if you were out of control, out of definition, out of form, structure, significance, out of linearities, out of concentricities and out of limitations with the entirety of your business, your money flows and your entire day? every moment of the day everything that that is times a godzilla we destroy and uncreate it yes right and wrong good and bad pock and pot all nine shorts boys and beyonds it is so lovely like with not being being out of control totally and not fested in the outcome gives so freedom because Absolutely. then it can go anyway so hey it's fine i mean and look at it like the way i would like to give an example is find something that you really enjoy and and you find very easy. So for example, it's like, you might be really good at cooking and you might be one of those people who goes into the kitchen and looks in the fridge and sees everything and just goes, oh, and starts to put something together. And you just go, oh, taste it over here. And it's like, you know, and you add something else. And it's like, you just keep adding to this and creating brilliance. And there's a lot of people, a lot of my friends are very, very good at that. And they pretty much never cook the same thing twice because it depends on what's there and what's going on and how they wanted to taste that day. What if your life was like that? So get something that you enjoy, that you find very easy, that you don't get vested in the outcome and have all of these points of view. And it's like tap into that energy and then take that into your business. And what if that is how you were in business? That would be a joy of business. And that would be the ability to do, be, have, create, and generate in a really different way. And so much of this and so much of the tools of access consciousness and what we do with Joy Business and Business Done Different is it's different. That's why it's called Business Done Different because it's not the same as everyone else. Like, so this is not, you know, these are not classes that are about, you know, coming along and setting out your budget, et cetera. And I am, we talk about being aware of your financial, you know, reality, absolutely. You need to be aware of your financial reality, but you don't create your business based on that. You create it based on the energy of what you perceive around you and what possibilities are available. And every single time you go to question, every single time these possibilities show up and you choose something, you have more awareness and you'll realize what else can actually contribute to your business. That is so wonderful. It just, it feel, even my body starts relaxing. The way yes, you, I know. Just, it's, it's much easier on your body. That's the funny thing. It's like, you know, your body gets all tense when you get all tense. And it's like, yeah. but when you're like, oh, I mean, at one stage, and this is being out of control, you know, I had a business, I was in Brisbane, Australia, and I had a warehouse and I would go in there Monday to Friday, you know, 8am till 6pm sort of thing. And then I realized that 
that wasn't the hours that my body and I desired to work. So sometimes I would go in like on a Sunday afternoon at two o'clock and I'd get so much work done in two, three hours. But then maybe on a Tuesday morning, I didn't, I wasn't in the mood to be in there. So then I would go and do something else. I would even take myself off to the movies, but I was able to do that with the business I had. And it wasn't like I was being lazy. I was started to follow the energy. What is my body? And what does the business require of me today? Which is another question. And then you look at the energy of that and it's not going, you know, into the form structure and significance of what this reality would project at you that you need to work X amount of hours at your office on certain days. I mean, I don't know about you, but sometimes, you know, I'm incredibly creative at 5 a.m. on a Sunday morning, you know, exactly. <laughs> some of my best times. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I don't go, no, Simone, it's 5 a.m. on a Sunday <laughs> morning. You can't work now. I'm like, oh, everyone's asleep. This is great. And you start creating. So what if your business was like that? And what if you allowed yourself to be that energy with the business, which is about being out of control, ladies and gentlemen, and see what shows up. What's the worst thing that can happen? Is you have more fun, you make more money. Please don't do that. Go back to doing what you're doing. Forget about this. Do not go to a business down different class. Do not go check out, you know, Joy of Business. Not at all. No, go why change your life? Right. Exactly. No. <laughs> yeah, far too light and too happy. Exactly. <laughs> no, we don't want happy in business. That's no. not correct. Yeah, I got it wrong. There is no joy in business. Kidding. There could be a lot of joy in business if you choose it. So hopefully we'll see you there at a class soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.